I know we're supposed to be working on our math right now, but did you write in your mommy me journal to mom yet? All the yelling last night made me exhausted inside. It's like I was just as tired from that conversation as I was after I run those long laps around the park. I went to bed, and I'm still tired, but on the inside. So, is that a yes or a no? Ivaya, you don't have to be sarcastic. I'm just saying, I asked you a really simple question, but you gave me all these details about how the whole debacle made you feel. Not an answer to the actual question. So, did you? You know what, Avaya? Excuse me for working through my feelings still. You mean still working through your feelings. That's just bad grammar. What are you? The reaction police? Correcting how everybody feels and responds? I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm going to get back to doing my homeschool assignments. Well, fine then. Don't share. Okay, the rock just convicted me that my response to you was too harsh. Will you forgive me, big sis? Well, do you even repent? Which means working to change your behavior. Because if not, you'll just do it again like you always do. So that's a no? See? My bad, sis! Okay, you're right, you're right. It's like you want to get forgiveness without having to repent. So now you answer my question. What was the question again? Ugh... No, seriously, sis. I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I seriously forgot that quick. Please ask me again. You asked me to forgive you. I asked you. Do you want to repent? So are you going to change your behavior and stop doing it over and over again? I don't like trying to have a conversation with someone who constantly has a sarcastic response. True, big sis. I apologize. I repent for having sarcastic responses. I know mom and dad would say that's not loving. And of course the most high would too. I really need help with my mouth. It comes so naturally. Are you making excuses now? No, not at all. I think the most high just showed me myself and I agreed. Well, okay. I hope you remember that before it happens again. Same, and you can remind me too. I seriously don't want to keep doing something that hurts my own sister. I guess I can forgive you then. We sound straight out of sessions with mom. I know, right? <laughs> She would be so happy if she saw us work it out this way. She would, but that makes me think, how can mom help strangers work stuff out and even young children like us can work stuff out, but the adults in our own family can't? Right, it's like mom and dad kind of sat there and let grandma fare across boundary after boundary. The same boundaries mom always talks about not crossing. I don't get it. I'm gonna ask mom when I write in my mom and me journal that same question. But I need to talk about it now, too. But Mom won't be home until after 4, and Dad's still busy finishing edits for his deadline while he has the twins. Maybe we can talk to Auntie Yana. Want to go down the street to her house? That's actually a good idea. Hey, my nieces. So what's up? Your parents know y'all over here? Yeah, we told Dad, and we just finished the homeschool work Mom left us. Where is your dad and my sister and the twins and y'all can? Mom's at the office in afternoon sessions. Dad's finishing edits for a shoot that's due, and he has the twins and y'all can. Oh, okay. Y'all should have brought the twins and y'all can then. Well, everybody's busy, and we really needed to talk to somebody. Mm, well, excuse me. It sounds like serious business. We better take this inside then. So what's cracking, boo-boos? Long story short, Grandma Fair got super mad that Mom and Dad said none of us are going to her big Easter thing she does every year, since instead we're learning to do the Passover feast, like in the Bible. Then she came over. I wanted to come to your house then, but Mom made us stay and learn how to work through conflict. Ouch, that must have been scary. But that's my sister using opportunities just like that. So what happened? It was bad, Auntie Anna. Grandma Fur was yelling the whole time. Right at Mom and Dad. Saying what? That we don't believe in the Messiah when we do. That we're in a cult when we're not. That Mom made Dad do it all. That Mom's a Jezebel. You mean Jezebel, boo. Yeah, that word. 
What is that? <laughs> oh, wait. Mm. Hot mess. A uh, Jezebel is like um, a wicked snake type of woman, for the most part. I looked it up and saw that too. Kind of, but I don't see how mom is like that. Man, I'm sorry y'all had to hear all of that. That's just a whole hot mess. Yeah, and all that mom and dad teaches about boundaries, they just sat there. Literally, Auntie Yana just sat there and let it all happen. What did you want your parents to do? Practice the boundaries they tell us to keep. Yeah, they wanted us to practice healthy conflict, but they didn't practice healthy boundaries. Well, I wasn't there, and I'm not all the way clear on y'all new Hebrew journey and all of that. Not knocking it, just still not all the way clear, you know? And I can't speak for why your dad moved away. He did, and I definitely ain't no professional counselor like your mom either, but I will say this. You can't practice no boundary you ain't set yet. You got to do one before you can do the other, right? Well, right. So maybe they got to figure out which one to set now. How long it been since all of this happened? Yesterday. Yesterday? Y'all, it ain't even been 24 hours. Well, no, but still, auntie. Still, auntie, still what? We don't like what happened. It seems really, really, really bad. Really bad. From what y'all done told me, it sound like it, but you didn't even give your parents a chance to get what you wanted. Look, if you felt hurt by what your grandmother said, don't you think they hurt too? Shoot, where we come from, that's some fighting words, but what make it worse is that you can't physically fight over it. Shoot couldn't have been me i guess i didn't think about it like that but we did ask mom and dad if they were okay though yeah we literally went to ask them before we went to bed dad was joking and mom was even smiling a little but mom did admit that she was drained or something like that true she did i kind of didn't really think too long about that my sister didn't even call me she like that she gotta process stuff that's a lot and words can hurt more than a bullet it been not even a day to deal with all of that, y'all. I know, Auntie Yana, but I'm so scared. And I'm stressed. Scared, Harley Poo? What you scared of? Like, I don't know. I didn't really think about it all. But one thing is like, what if our parents are wrong and this whole Hebrew thing is a mistake? If it can cause this much trouble, maybe it's wrong. Look, I ain't all spiritual like your mom and dad. But one thing I'll tell you about life, though, I done seen the most right things cause the most trouble, but only with people that refuse to do the right. And I'm stressed. I heard you, Avaya. Girl, you a trip. And I believe you, boo. And I'm stressed just thinking about it. Y'all parents been kind of looked up to in Christianity, though. And now all of a sudden, they talking this Hebrew stuff. You got to expect the drama, girls. Christians ain't going to rock with that so easy. But it wasn't even all of a sudden, auntie. We've been talking about this in our home for like a long time. Yeah, in y'all home. Ain't nobody in there like y'all but y'all. Yeah, but I don't like it, auntie. I really don't like this. It's really affecting our whole entire life. This one thing making everybody so angry. Yeah, it's like you almost want to go back to being a Christian. So people will just like you again. Now that's a discussion for your moms and pops. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Matthew, Matthew. 10, 34 through 36. What you doing, Harlia? Writing in my mom and me journal before mom gets home. Same. I'm about to write too. Wasn't it totally different with Auntie Yana than with Grandma Farah? I know, right? They both don't believe or understand us growing in our faith, but they acted so different. Grandma Farah was yelling and angry, calling us all these names saying it's mom's fault and she's wicked. 
Auntie Yana listened, showed us love, and kind of sent us back to our parents. You got that too? I know she had to have an opinion about how mom and dad are doing things, but sent us right back to them to talk about it. Grandma Fair tried to get all the way in it. Auntie Yana was like, I ain't going but so far. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when mom's going to write back to us, and when both mom and dad are going to talk to us about everything, like in detail. Yeah, and what's going to happen with Grandma Farah and Mom and Dad? Better day, better day, better day, better day. It's that better day show. Better day, this is what we pray for. Better day. We do what he says, so this is what we made for. The better day show is on right now. Right now. Because we about to show you how it's better now. Now isn't it obvious why it's called the better day show? Hi, I'm Ever, animator of The Better Day Show. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe to see the next episode. Thanks for watching! <laughs>